Welcome back, everybody, to Sci-Fi Wire live at New York Comic Con. We have a huge crowd out here. Who is excited about the tick? This is an incredible crowd we have here today. Guys, I want to hear a huge, huge applause for our guests we have sitting up here. We have Griffin Newman, Valerie Curry, Scott Spicer, Ben Edlin, and Barry Josephson. Yeah. All right, guys, we're we're gonna jump right into some uh, some fun stuff here. Do you guys have a favorite moment from season one? All time favorite moment. Uh, I like all the hugs. <laughs> I think we pride ourselves on being the huggiest show on television. Uh, but I think the first one where uh, the tick tries to console me, and we have like an extended like 45 minute hug set piece. Yes, was that's my true. favorite moment. Yeah, season one. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of love in the show. I want to offset that immediately by saying one of my favorite moments is when you're you're punched in in the testicles by a tiny little man. <laughs> um, so just to offset the hugging, that is one of the better bit of physical comedy moments that we have. I have to say, Griffin getting punched in the testicles by a tiny doll is also my favorite moment. Oh, no, I didn't mean one, to take so. it. I was going to say Griffin um, getting showered um, on Danger Boat is one of my favorite moments. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all related to how Griffin is treated, either punched in the tex testicles or showered by a uh, loving machine. That's a good one. Do you have I one? I won't add to that. <laughs> Next question. All right, so if you guys had a superpower that seemed really bizarre from the outside, like something really strange, like the ability to control milk or something. Like, what, what bizarre superpower would you want? So the question is, if we could pick a superpower, but it can only be a superpower that other people would look upon negatively? <laughs> Bizarrely. <laughs> OK. Wow. Like your whole personality. Yeah, that's like me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Acting, that feels like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a stumper. Because uh, that's a very creatively uh, open question. Um, the ability to uh, control the level to which my pasta had been cooked <laughs> and go back in time yes. and change it from possibly too soft to, to, to al dente. I never thought about that. That's actually a good one. If I could control, like, hair length, I feel like I rarely feel like I'm in the right zone. So if I could just, judging by the day, make it an inch or two shorter or longer. Or just pump out a beard. Like, yes, that's, that, that's what I would like. I'd like the ability to grow a proper beard. That would be my superpower. I would also like the ability to grow a proper beard. That would yes. be mine as well. Yes. Um, so there are any characters from the comic or cartoon that you hope to see on the show eventually? Uh, I mean, there are, there are characters that are going to come and join us. We, uh, we, we began, we made an allusion to the man-eating cow even this season. Uh, so, I'm, you know, we're, there's a lot that could come, but we're also, as we always say, like uh, the ocean of our sort of new uh, iteration is large. Uh, and so we've been uh, sailing that for a while, too. Seems like fans of The Tick all want to see Chairface yeah. Chippendale. Chairface, Chairface yes. is the go-to. But this season, we do have a lot of new characters. True. Which is great. So we do introduce a lot of new characters that I think fans will really like. There, there's the one show. character who's only in one issue of the comic book who I've been bugging Ben about since we met over two years ago, named Hand Grenade Man, <laughs> whose power is that he owns a hand grenade. <laughs> so he can kind of use it once. And he's, he's like a one-use superhero. He's just an angry sort of stout guy clenching a hand grenade. I love it. He might only be in one episode, though, because that's so Yes, all right. Got, that's, like, that's, that's all action. I can get out of him, yes. Yes. if he yeah. takes action. Yeah. That's true. And, uh, and speaking of new characters, there's a plethora of villains to choose from. Can you tease, just give us a little tease as to maybe some villains we're going to be seeing in the uh, upcoming season? Well, we're really not. We're, you're catching us at the pre-release of any real useful information time. We really <laughs> want to tease you in the least substantial way. Uh, but we are, you know, for, uh, the, the world of the, the show is going to open up widely. We're actually doing a world-building season. Um, we're really excited to introduce the, the sort of our version of Homeland Security uh, in the form of Aegis, which, uh, you know, 
that's a sort of a shield sort of word, but I don't want to get confusing. Yeah, and, and the, last year, the terror was a very out front, obvious villain. This year, the villains are a little bit more tricky, uh, a little bit more difficult to discover. Ambition, yeah, uh, or uh, yeah, hubris. I, th yeah. I think paperwork is a really big yeah. villain this Bureaucracy. season. Most of my big tough stunt scenes were me having to fill out forms over and over again. The Tick does find that paper is a sort of a force in life. It's his kryptonite. Like paperwork and having to fill out registration information is the Tick's kryptonite. Yeah, is there something that you guys would like to see your characters do in the future that you haven't done yet? Like Dot has a new physical skill every season, um, so I'm kind of scared of what will happen <laughs> on the new season. On when we do season three, what Ben Edlund will tell me two weeks before yes. that I have to be able to do. Did I give you like, better warning this time? You gave you you definitely gave me better warning, but um. But yeah. you are you are a skilled fighter now. I know it's my favorite <laughs> thing. We, we can say that. We can talk oh, about. Oh yeah. That? All right. Uh, yeah, I got to do uh, like really intense fight training this season. Um, so Dot kicks a lot of ass, and it also just became like my favorite thing um, that I've been keeping up because it's super yeah. fun. My my goal for season three is I would like Arthur to grow a proper beard. <laughs> so maybe if hair and makeup can help me with that, that's my I big goal. That superpower you were hoping yeah. for. I would just like to kill more. I just don't. I just like overkill doesn't. Never quite get to kill, gets to kill enough. Is just never satisfied. So the more, you know, I think the numbers could be raised. The body you know, count exponentially. Yeah, the body count would be great. Or overkill could just get like better robot eyes, so you don't have to wear those contacts every single day. Oh. Sure, sure. Who do I talk to about that? Yeah. Um, uh, probably uh, ba Barry. You can talk to Barry about it. <laughs> Barry, let's let's talk about the contacts. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. welcome. Hey, hey, Brendan Hines. Uh, the very uh, ladies Superman. and gentlemen. What's up, Brendan? Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're indoors, Brendan. No, keep them on, keep them on. There you go. It's a vibe, I like it. Oh, and we have Dara. Oh, hey. Nice, and Peter, hey. welcome, you guys. Take a seat. Dara Martinez. What about this traffic, folks? I know. Yeah. Traffic in LA. Traffic. Or in New York is insane. Oh. Hey, go. How's it going, guys? Hi. Is this on? Oh, hi. Five. I love it. Hi, hello. Yeah! Boo! We were just talking about favorite moments from season one and two, and something that you'd like you to see your character do in the future. To see to, something I'd like my character to do, mm -hmm. uh, take his costume off. <laughs> um, can I just say, I'm sorry I'm late, by the way. How's that, how long has this been going on? Two hours? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, we were just in the cab uh, coming here, or in the car, and the driver rang ahead and said, uh, we just want to let you know that I'm, I'm in the car with Peter Servino, right? Which is what, what they, you know, and I'm, I'm used to that, you know, because I have a complicated name. And, the, and, uh, and he was on speakerphone, and the lady said, okay, Peter Servino. Sorry, who, Peter Servino? And I, I, and I said, no, I, it's, it's Serafinowicz. And the driver said, yeah, Serafinowicz. And she goes, Okay, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what happened. Oh, no. So it's been a morning for you. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good, yeah. Um, but I, I, that's the first, first time I've heard that particular variation, anyway. <laughs> that's a good one. I love it. I love it. So a lot of times cast members like to take home props or costumes from set. Have you guys stolen anything? yet or anything you'd like to take home in the future? I didn't even see you guys. <laughs> I took home the attitude that Miss Lynn has. Um, yeah, my husband loves it. <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely stole a lot of the paperwork because our props department filled out the forms in such funny ways where it would be like name the tick, address, Arthur's place <laughs> that I, I stole as much of it as I could. I stole a newspaper. Yeah, they had, they had Miss Lynn on the cover. I didn't know we were allowed to steal things. You know this is I would have stolen a lot of things being recorded by with nature. cameras, right? <laughs> well, next season, now you know. Yeah, I'm going to steal so much. Yeah. I think Yara I stole have, a uh, few scenes here. Uh, <laughs> we have um, a, uh, um, a, a mannequin that is wearing one of the minion outfits from the Terror. Oh, cool. Which is uh, in my apartment and 
every time I walk by it, I think there's a person in my apartment. <laughs> oh, no. Like, it's a very convincing, alive display. So. Yeah. Well, guys, I know you just joined us, but unfortunately, we're out of time already. Oh, but fun. thank you guys for being here. Give it up for the cast and creators of The Tick. <laughs> guys, stay tuned at home. Make thank sure you're you, tweeting you. along thank with you. us using the hashtag It's a Fan Thing and hashtag NYCC. And stay tuned because we have Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about Cosmo's possible world. Stay tuned. I'm Jackie Jennings with Sci-Fi Wire. If you can't get enough of New York Comic Con, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for news, interviews, cosplay, and so much more. What are you waiting for?